Hey guys, Jason here. Happy Thursday. Another nice red day for Tesla coming off of yesterday. So I uh, just kind of want to talk through about what I'm thinking price action wise and, and all that stuff. So like I said previously, I've moved everything out till January, absolutely everything. Uh, I don't really care what's happening in the short term, uh, even though, you know, I can say, yes, I don't care, but does it bother me? Yeah, of course, it's stressful seeing seeing quite a bit of range between where our put credit spreads, where our shorts are, and where the current price is. However, I know, like, factually, Tesla's moved way more, way more than any of the indexes, any of the umbrellas of EV makers, manufacturers, all of that stuff. You know, if you look at Ford, Lucid, all those things, GM, um, Tesla's moved way, way more. So, uh, and, and the only reason for that, the only reason, absolutely, like, it's not fundamentals, it's not any of the, you know, bad news, it's not, not the shootings, nothing. Nothing like that. Nothing has changed for the company. Um, in fact, like positive things have come out as well. Um, so the only reason for that is Elon Elon's selling of shares, and we know it's not done, right? We're we're about seventy percent of the way through it. Uh, I think he's probably selling today just based on the volume and the price movement. I think we'll see that filing today. Uh, for the past several weeks, he's only sold once a week, but. Uh, prior to those several weeks, he had sold a couple times, at least once, uh, multiple times a week, and I think maybe a couple times in the beginning of this, um, beginning of the selling with some of the discretionary sales. So once we get through this month, this selling, um, we're already at least 70% done. If he sells today, then we're another chunk closer to him being done selling. Once that's over, all this downward pressure is going to be gone and um and it's not like once that selling pressure is done we're just going to stagnate we've seen the upward pressure right we saw it yesterday after the fed um we saw it right initially when when after he announced it that very first day even though he sold the stock did pretty well in light of that um but in fact i mean with it being 17 million shares that is a high number so it's just going to continue to create some of this downward pressure when it's done and we have that upside we don't exactly know but hedge funds will know and money will flow back into tesla i'm highly confident of that on top of the catalyst that we have coming for the rest of this month a couple more weeks not very much time but into january um, when we run into earnings um, and uh, the the earnings call production delivery all those catalysts um, on top of the big one of him not selling anymore is absolutely going to be huge so just looking over this Hey, cool. Um, over this past month, past week, I mean, we've seen a hundred dollar range this week, this month we've seen what, uh, $300 range, $200 range. Let's see. 1011. Yeah. Almost a $300 range in this month. So just as much as we have these crazy down days, we will have those crazy up days. Uh, and that's going to be the big one. So, uh, again, like I said, I moved everything out till the end of January. I'm not going to deal with any of the shorter term stress, worrying about getting things like rolled out when they're a week or so till expiration. I do have just the only thing I have is 900 and below. Um, so, and I've also purchased a few more shares and I continue to do that, right? And I'll continue to do it while we're in the 900s for sure. Not necessarily all in this account, but in my other accounts as well. I've, I've sold off some other holdings and just put it back into Tesla. Um, so that's what I have. And, and I may miss a few more days of recording just because I'm not doing anything, right? I'm, 
I'm not making any plays. I'm not, I'm not moving anything. I'm not, I'm not changing my thesis at this point. You know, my thesis is still the same with Tesla. It's just the overall macro, macro environment coupled with the big news that we know that Elon is selling. So, um, and same thing in the small accounts. I think I think what we have is just some ex stuff expiring at the end of the year. Um, I haven't I haven't needed to move those yet. Uh, I think you know today. I'm sure we'll see some more. <laughs> I'm almost positive now with 10 million uh, an hour and a half into the market being open that we'll see some more SEC filings, and then typically after that we can see a day of a bit of recovery. Um, or somewhere you know i think actually we did because like tuesday we saw it was it was okay and then yesterday obviously very good but you know some profit taking maybe people that were holding some stuff that they bought wanted to take some profit by the end of the year so any of that stuff is absolutely fine but i'm not going to uh i don't want to be in the stress and the position of having to worry about any of this stuff short term um my my stuff at you know if we if we touch 900 fine i'll roll the stuff i have expiring in the next couple of weeks out a bit but my like 850s not until then um nothing else i'm going to touch until like the end of the year maybe first week of january something like that um it's just you know it's just it's just too much to worry about so that's where I'm at, and that's why I've not been super, you know, super like uh, pumped on the daily, daily videos right now because um, there's just really not much to show or talk about. Like this is stuff we all kind of knew was going to happen. I didn't expect to be all the way down to, to the 930s or this big of, uh, this big of a downside. Didn't expect all the macro environment stuff. Didn't expect Omicron. Uh, or any of those things to actually happen, but hey, they happen, and this is this is all part of it. So, this is and this is all part of the pain that that we go through to see the upside. So, um, yeah, I think that's really all I want to walk through today. Uh, like, I guess what as we talk, we've we've been down another another percent or so. Which, hey, this is this is all short term pain. And um, just to just to kind of give us an idea, uh, what over the month we're down like 13%. And if we look at any of the other indexes, what Nasdaq uh, over the past month, you know that's down two percent, right? Um, what's the spy looking like? Um, spy, you know, pretty much even on the day, but for the month it's it's up. So. So relative to all these things, it's just that artificial pressure right now, which sucks and, and it's emotionally draining and, and all that stuff, but it will be over at some point, um, whether it happens in the next week, two weeks, three weeks, uh, I don't really know, but moving into January, uh, I mean, obviously I, I put my money where my mouth is and, um, that's the reason for it, uh, that's that's what's going through my head that's what i'm thinking right now is selling will be done at some point and we will have huge upsides and um and back even with the with the tesla like this this past month what we've i mean we've been up here 1200 down to 900 that is that is an insane 260 dollars like that's a huge that's a massive amount of range, um, even just day to day. It's just a massive amount of range for a company whose fundamentals has not changed. And if anything, they're getting more and more positive with um, with expansions and factories opening and new vehicle uh, deliveries and production coming out in the very, very near term um, and near term, you know, being semis the end of this year and Cybertruck next year. That's that's relatively short term in in what we're investing in. So uh, 
if you're at all uncomfortable and confident, uh, if any of your positions, close them out if you want, roll them out. Um, I mean, 937, uh, we'll look back at this, you know, in February and think, why didn't I buy more shares, right? Why didn't I, why didn't I take out a second mortgage on my house and buy Tesla shares at 937, 938, 960. Why didn't I grab it when it was below a thousand dollars? Like, what was I thinking? That's that's always kind of what's in the back of my mind. Um, I know anywhere down here, it's a great value, and I think one of the least risky stocks out there. They're producing they're producing something that is sold out for for the foreseeable you know the foreseeable future as far as whatever they can produce is absolutely sold out they are expanding massively they have a huge lead on any competition out there like all these things are so massive and to see the stock price just go down like this is one of those insane things to me you know it was like when it was hanging around the 600s for so long and and i'm just like I'm just banging my own head going, why? Like, why wouldn't anybody want to buy this at this point? It's nuts. And even though we're super down now, that $600 level, just how long, I mean, how long ago was it? We're at, we're at 600s uh, in July. I mean, that's not even all that long ago, right? That's like five or six months ago, they're up 50%, even though we're super, super down today. So I think we'll have a similar situation six months from now, seven months from now, three months from now, where where we see these levels and just go, what, what in the world were they thinking? So uh, next year, you know, $1,200, $1,500 uh, pretty easily. I think by the end of the year, they are in Increasing production 50% deliveries 50% year over year so this is a company that isn't just they're not just saying it it's not just a sketch they've put all the things in motion to be able to do that they're executing they have they've already done it they've executed well all these all these huge positives um, but yet yeah we're pretty depressed and again uh, we know the reason for it so that's that's the positive is we know the reason for this and we know that it will be done so we know it will pass these are these are a few things that to me are a hundred percent um not guesses hundred percent known that um that you know six months from now this this uh this price is going to seem ridiculously stupidly low ridiculous that we ever that we were ever down here so all right guys um if nothing else uh i'll, I'll probably post tomorrow maybe do another live stream or something like that if nothing else we'll we'll jump on the live stream on saturday probably as usual see how much we've bled on the account for the past for the past week yesterday it was looking looking okay but uh you know oh well um, I'm not investing for tomorrow or for this week. I am investing for, you know, 2025, 2030, something like that. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day. And let's make a lot of money.